Oremi Bawoni Orokomini Ajala. My name is Ajala, that's what it means from Lagos, Nigeria. Oremi means my friend, Bawoni means how are you? I hope you're doing great. So we continue with the solution to our ICT IGCSE specimen papers for year 2016. Okay, and we are in the Excel and website authoring part. So we are to create evidence document and save it with this. As okay, so I have this save as. P3 evidence with my center number. Okay, so that is saved. It's all my details are the on the header header. Okay, I will need that later. Okay, I'm preparing a spreadsheet for super scuba. Okay. So all currencies val all currency values must be in dollars two decimal places that is a key statement we must note using a suitable software package load the file p3sheet.csv that's a csv is comma separated values or variables which is a generic file format for database and spreadsheets software okay save this file with your center number and candidate number in this format okay so save us you have to save us your the extension the file format for a software you are using if you save it as csv you are going to lose your formula when you save so ng777 077 candidate number hypothetical ones for that matter okay in cell a1 enter the title super scuba trips okay cell a1 that means i'm inserting a blank line here enter a title super scuba trip 2000 and let me cross check again 12 dash 13 Okay, so Pasco about trips 2012-13 trips. You must not make any mistake. Okay, so select this from A1 to R1. You should extend to hold that margin center to show that it's really a title. This is let's make it bigger. 20. Okay, if we just Give it a background, okay, like this. Okay, There's something thick around it. Okay, so it's, it looks like a title. Okay, good. Mesh cells E2, B2 to E2, B2 to E2, B2 to E2. Okay, merge it. Okay, I'm doing that for all this. I have other things to do on them. Okay, format this so that test is center line with a black 18 point sans serif, 18 point calibrate already. That's sans serif. Okay, each has a gray background color and a thin black border. A thin black border. Okay, this is a thin black border gray background color so, so this is gray so the same thing is applicable to f2 to high 2 so i could just the format painter here okay to ensure they have the same formatting and escape when i'm done Format cells a2 and how so they appear the same as those formatted in step 3 okay this is a2 calibrate 18 point background gray color okay center okay I can do that for the hard to here so I have everything 
place. Okay. In cell here for use a function to calculate the number of trips in April, May, and June. E5 calculate the total income from April, May, and June. E6 expenditure. Okay, a function that's equal to sum as a function we are using. Okay, so I can copy this down. For the two. Okay, now let's replicate this for all the quarters. For all the quarters. Okay, let's so replicate the formula, enter in Celsius to calculate for all the quarters. Okay, calculate profit for each month. Profit is equal to income minus expenditure. Okay, this is equals income minus expenditure. Then copy this down. Okay, to this point. Okay, for the total, this equals sum of each quarter. This is quarter one, comma, quarter two, comma, quarter three, comma, quarter four. Okay, can drag this angle to this place. Okay, that is done. Okay, that's number 10 ring down on the left in the footer had your name that's under inserts a down footer on the left in the footer let's scroll down to where we have the footer the left in the footer had your name had your full name let's go to our java the center number ng777 candidate number 077 Okay, that's my left. On the right in the footer, I had the automated file name and path. That is file path. We have the path and then the file name. Okay. In cell B10, okay. So I love to work in the normal view. I love to work in the normal view. Okay. So I'm going to sell B10. Okay. Okay. Sorry. In cell B, I use a function to display the greatest monthly profits. Okay. B10, lowest. B11, average. Okay. That's equals. Greatest is maximum profit. That's max. Monthly profit. April to June, come on. July to September. Ensure that you don't pick the subtotal. That's not monthly. That's the quarter. Okay, come on. Good. Okay, I want to change orders to absolute cell referencing. So to be. Easy for me to copy and paste the formula without changing the references. Okay, so that is done. Just drag this down to copy and paste it. Change this to main. You must know how to work smart. Main and change this to average. Average. Okay. Okay, let's ensure that everything shows. Okay. Apply appropriate formatting to all cells except row 2. Do not forget that all our currencies must be in dollars. All our currencies must be in dollars to two decimal places. Okay, so this is a currency, two decimal places in dollars. Okay, my country will spend Naira, so is that right? Dollars. So we can do format painter for all this. And copy and paste it for all the currency values. These are all currency values. Wow, showing 
hashtag is a whole currency values don't be afraid it shows that some values are the the space cannot contain the values so what you do is that click here then double click between any two letters and you have everything showing great okay okay edit the formula in cell b11 so that it also run the value to the nearest o dollar display the content of this so that it shows only integer values so this is a special one formal cells it's also currency it's also in in dollars Nice dollar. Okay. Zero decimal places. Oh. We are rounding it up. Round. Everything inside the bracket to zero. Okay. Display the content of the cell so that it shows only integer values. Okay. We just had int Okay. So that is done. Okay, let me have some aesthetics. Okay. Okay. Differentiate the cutter. Okay. Okay, everything is looking tidy. Okay. Number 17. See if I'm printing the spreadsheet showing formula. Okay, so you go to formulas show formulas okay to ensure that everything is well set click here double click between two letters okay so we have our formula together so we are printing this highlight where you have your data and go to file print okay we are printing print selection Get the page set up. Okay, let's see the requirements. Is in landscape orientation. Orientation is landscape. Okay. The role and column headings are displayed under shapes. Role and column headings, headings. The content of all sets are fully visible. Okay. Okay. Okay, you can see the content are fully visible. Column headings, row headings are showing. Okay, our details are showing, so we can now print from here. Good. So that is number one. That is done. Okay. Now print is pressure showing the values. Showing the values, we have click the show formula. We have the values. Click here. Double click on any two letters. Okay. Select where you have your values. Okay. Print. Okay, you have print selection. Okay, let's see the requirements. The printer fit on a single page. So go to page setup, go to fit to one page wide, one page tall. That's a single page. Okay, let's see. Great. So this is everything on a single page and it is visible. 
okay so you print it out the details are showing these are the details showing okay so you print this out great okay so now let's do some simulation update the spreadsheet with the following data for december the income was forty five thousand dollars this december income this is income okay let me cross check okay income for the five thousand dollars was the expenditure is forty two thousand dollars okay so that has been effected print the spreadsheet showing the values okay so you select the spreadsheet with these values again select where you have your print area ultra p to print okay one page everything the content of all cells are fully visible on a single page so everything is on a single page page one of one so you can print okay so we have come to the end of the excel parts okay thank you for your time i wish you all the best Good